All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Adventure, Part 6, Episode 22. 22. Uh, hmm. FF, hmm. you were live. You are 100%. You, you are no, maybe not alive. 100%, but you are like at least 1% alive. At somewhere. least 1% alive. And, you know, there's a difference between okay. mostly dead and, and all dead. dead. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> mostly dead is slightly alive. So, so... Because Araki, you wouldn't do that. Uh -huh. You wouldn't do that. Not there to was FF. no FF has retired or exactly. has died or is anything there, like there that. Was, there was none of that shit. Mm -hmm. So FF is okay. Yeah, FF is okay. Yeah, but now you know. it could be a situation where literally in the beginning of this episode. We get like mm -mm, no, the last no, little bit no. of plankton, like somewhere, like just uh, uh, no. So uh, the, uh, the the stand, the giving giving a stand offensively, all the water you touch turns to boiling water. Okay, okay, but what if they get in contact with a fluid that's not water? Like you know, coolant in a car. Yeah, exactly. Any kind right. of the car. Any fluids. kind of liquid that is not it would probably be water. poison FF, but it wouldn't kill FF immediately. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the coolant, I could see maybe being problematic, but like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, point is, there's water in the windshield wiper uh, fluid. Ah, uh, yes, and it, if it has soap in it or something like that, then maybe it doesn't count. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I just really don't want FF to die. Yeah, FF's kind of our favorite of the uh, mm -hmm. of the side characters. Yes. Um, for sure, for yes. sure. Yes. So, do not Shigechi FF mm -mm. Araki, mm -mm. please. But that could have been yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. we're holding out hope. We've got ourselves a, a creepy baby. Mm -hmm. um, it has shrinking stand abilities, right? But based on has... the people that it deems as like a threat or not a friend because it hasn't touched them yet, right? I would love to hmm. see if that ends up screwing over Poochie at some point. That well, would be cool. Well, that was the thing. Poochie said he had a, a plan to for control how it. He'd control it, right? Which means that on some level. He might have specifically made sure to, that it would stick around with, or that it would Jolene. have a certain standability. Oh, sure, that would be that would be problematic. That would and then he's like, "No one else will be able to deal with it, but because I know the secret, I'll be able to do it." And then you just didn't count on Anasui and Jolene being big brained and yeah, exactly. figuring it out. Exactly. Know? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Ooh, Mona Lisa. Wow. Okay. Okay, calm down. Oh, oh. No, the head being attached, yeah. Uh -huh. Shirtless Dio, we haven't seen that in a while. Mm. Is this their post, uh, post, uh, hanky panky, uh, you know, uh, mm. book time? Look at art and stuff. <laughs> Hmm. Kira would have just focused on the hands. Right. Hmm. Oh, hmm. <laughs> okay, I like this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Worship. Okay. And they huh. got real close. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. That's they love that's each fun. other. <sighs> Except what? The bone. Uh huh. Oh shit! Whoa! All right. Time for heaven. Wait, new moon. New priest. Wait, what? 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 Why don't you make us watch this again? Come on. It's raining. It's raining. Yeah! Let's go. Oh, wait. No, that's bad. Oh! Yeah! They're aboard. No, this is huge. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. All right. 
it's like coming cool. down like a torrent. Yeah. Okay. I love it. What are these little rock things dropping though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh, FF, you're a legend! Shit! You're a legend! FF gets away again! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you just have two people you need to kill. Hey. Hey. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Alright. Weather so report much. coming in clutch. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh oh. It's eating his hair. Whoa. Oh no, it's gonna grow into like. It's growing a lot. Yeah. Into like some reborn Dio or something. Oh, <laughs> it's just weather report. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh. oh. There we go. Alright. Okay, let's go! Okay. Oh, cool. nice, nice. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. We haven't had all four. Yeah. Honestly, like, who's this bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they start hugging again. Yeah. Hey, hey. You know. Yep. Mm. That's kind of true. Yeah. Oh, FF takes except exception oh, to that. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, damn, is there going to be infighting within the crew? It could be. Yeah, yeah, careful how you phrase things, yeah. Oh. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait. Is Wait. this the baby doing this, maybe? Or... No, it's not! It's not weather report! Oh shit! No! No way! Oh no! No, you're kidding Holy me! Holy fuck! Oh my god! He already got to weather report. Yeah. Wow! No! Holy shit! Yeah, weather report doesn't have to be close. He could have been really far away. And yeah, yeah, rain. yeah. Right, weather report's still out yeah, there. Maybe weather report hadn't recovered and had just been able to use the ability, but that was it. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. my god! So it's an amalgamation of their souls. Oh, you're kidding me. The insult just being like, I don't even regard you as your name. Oh my god! You think I wasn't attacking? Oh, oh, ho, ho. Yeah! Let's fight! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> it's a brawl! Let's All go! Right. Let's go! <laughs> That's just the first half! You're in melee range, bitch! Oh! Okay, okay. okay. Yep, yep. Nice to flex there. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Oh, oh, nice! So good! Let's go! 
ないためにあるんじゃない。屈服させるためにある。Oh shit! <laughs> Right, right, right. Who will submit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. This... This standoff is so good. And it's yes. not even technically a standoff. Right, right, exactly. It's a pose off. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god! Okay, okay. okay. Yep, the disc is out. The disc is out. The disc is out. Oh! oh she oh. dove her head back into it? Uh huh? <laughs> Look at her go! Yeah. It's just faster. It's just faster, bitch. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Into no either way. FF or honestly. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. You want it that bad? Go get it, yeah. Go get it, yeah. He's desperate. Oh, I yeah. love this. The, our handcuffed death match, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're, we're not actually. <laughs> oh, she's continuing to beat the shit out of him. Oh, okay. Okay. She broke. She broke the, the handcuff. Whoa. Oh, if he says all these things, he doesn't shrink. Or, or maybe this is part of an incantation to like trigger the baby. Secret Emperor. What? Oh, there's the. No. What? What just happened? Is it too late? <gasps> no, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Hold up, hold up. He's gonna save FF with his own blood as his last thing. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it has to be mm -hmm. you. It has to be you. Right. The blood is moving so slowly. Oh. Oh, and then FF and, uh -huh. and, and yeah. Jolie will end up together. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wait. Wait. Wait, is wait. FF dying, though? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, FF is reviving honestly. Oh no, it's going the no. other uh -uh. way. It's going uh -uh. the other uh -uh. way. Oh. No. Oh, I had a really good time. Yeah. 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 They took on the form of the body that they inhabited. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. This is my soul. This is who I am. Yeah. <laughs> no. 
my memories with you and everybody, yeah. And they're gone. Wow, what a roller coaster. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was a much better end than what we we were potentially getting in the previous episode, though. I am dead inside. Yeah, I, 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 I am amazed. I, I am I am incredulous, like at how how quickly mm -hmm. we we flipped things immediately mm -hmm. with the yep. with the weather report save because FF Holy was able shit. to call weather report. Uh huh. Have rain fall. Yep. Have a whole bunch of other stuff basically come about so that this would be something where they right. wouldn't be able to track and FF. And then all all Pucci had to do was calm down, think. Uh -huh. Disguise himself by basically going inside his stand. You right. know the classic thing of like, oh, if your stand is slightly bigger than you, you can just sit in it and walk mm -hmm. around it as and, it's deployed. And, and if, if it can... looks somewhere like someone else, then yep, yep, uh -huh. yeah, he just has uh -huh. to wait around and be like, F F, where are you? You right, know, right, right, exactly. Like, and and oh. one of the things that I love about this is that it also goes to show that the continued consequences of the previous fight they had yep. where Weather Report saved their asses mm -hmm. because Weather Report took some heavy damage, if I, if I recall. In, oh, in that very fight. big and that, damage. And that's why yeah. they haven't been around for a while, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe they couldn't even actually show up, nope. right? It's just the, oh no, I know that something's happening. I, like, you know, whatever. I, well, I got the communication. Right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So so I, I have I have my, my walk jockey or whatever, I have my handheld radio, I'm gonna use my ability well, also, and try and- Also weather report, like that might be part of his ability. He's actually just tapping into it through like electricity or something like that. Uh, either, you gotcha. Either, either way. Well, yeah, point is he's, he's helping, but he might not be able to actually be there, right. which makes sense given the stuff that we've had before. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, yep. is that the characters wouldn't think about the fact that, like, oh wait, I guess he did recover from his injuries. Like, oh like, good, because, you recovered. Because, yeah, oh good, you recovered because they want him to be there. Because holy shit, you just saved my ass, right? Yeah. And then Pucci is able to do the thing that he wanted to do, of not just like the information's out, right? So he has to kind of he's he's he desperate. Has he has to move very carefully. He has to play this very carefully, but also very aggressively. Yes, very like, quickly. Like because because yeah. okay, the information's out. I can't mm -hmm. really put the genie back in the bottle. I need to find out where Jolene is. I need to be able to kill her. I need to be able to kill you know basically everybody. You know, like, okay. Prime numbers, right? You know, and just yeah. and, meditate, okay, meditate, meditate, just calm down. Okay, you know, and and that is a wonderful way to make your antagonist. Feel terrifying. Yeah, feel because, extra terrifying because not only was he losing here, mm -hmm. but multiple times, he he pulled a loss into a, a crazy a, a, upset win. Into a crazy upset win by basically relying on not his training, but if that makes sense, that's that that's the equivalent mm -hmm. of it. Basically, the okay, hold, hold, calm mm -hmm. thyself. Yep. Remember, <laughs> prage, prage, you know. <laughs> and, then, and then that also gives additional context, or not context, but like it. It makes it so that honestly, being all sus suddenly, right, right, of like, wait, they're embracing, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like his stink is getting all over Jolene. Is, is it like, jealousy? Yes, yes. Is it very similar to the way in which he detected evil of, on the baby <laughs> that he's like <laughs> right. weather report? <laughs> No, 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 no. Shut no. up, honestly, you're just horny and jealous. <laughs> also, also, that was the other thing. Weather report rarely talked. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Weather report. Holy shit. Weather report didn't talk much at all. Yeah. I Oh my god. Morse code. Yeah, exactly. That was the the whole thing with the rocks and stuff. Well, wasn't that Oh, or, well, no, no, that, no, was, that, that was that was, was FF, FF talking to, to the transceiver right, by exactly. having the rocks fall in specific yeah. Right, right, right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Okay. <gasps> but okay. I love as the thing that this immediately makes me think of, uh -huh. though, is this gives me big TTRPG, like yes. D and D, uh -huh. big bad evil guy energy, where it's the their arrival. They just for, formed a loss, and the DM is basically like, "What do I do? What do I do?" These mini the gods are too powerful. Yeah, yeah. They, these these players pulled out one of their players' busted unlimited range abilities. Okay, uh -huh. what do I do as a DM to make this still engaging? Calm down, calm down, calm down. 
Oh, right. Oh, right. I can use the fact that FF is going to be slowly getting away uh -huh. to my advantage. Right. There's fog. Mm -hmm. FF isn't going to right. know when I approach it's, that it's, I'm actually mm -hmm. who, who I am. And the thing is, is that the fog is still the right play. Because fog is it, the right play, Because it yeah. keeps Poochie from being able to follow them. But the problem is that that also makes it so that FF can't see Poochie pulling his shit, yeah. right? Just suddenly, oh, weather reports here. I saved the day, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. And he can position himself wherever mm -hmm. he needs to be yep, and yep. just assume, okay, FF's going to come out somewhere over here. Right, and also the whole calling out thing, right? Mm -hmm. So then, you know, it, it's, uh, it's so uh, so fantastic as a twist, and I am devastated and pissed because FF's gone. FF's gone. Like, and, uh, and, and I love it as a, we killed, we killed a Joe bro. Uh-huh. But... One of the things that's really cool about this was this episode focused on the amazing ability of white snakes to basically bring forth souls and put them into, um, yep. mm -hmm. put them into uh, being basically by through an, through an object, right? Which is a really wonderful thing when you think about the concept of life being something of a collection of memories, and that's a that's essentially what the soul is. It's it's not really anything that's scientifically a thing, but if you were to sum up what a person is, it's just the collection of their experiences, aka their memories. So, mm -hmm. FF, their soul has gone to heaven, which sets right. up a potential interesting plot point in mm -hmm. that if Poochie's yep, whole yep. desire this whole time was that he was in love with Dio, and he just wants to be with him again. Which is... Amazing, which is amazing that's if that's the, if that's a his wonderful entire parallel motivation. with Jolene's whole thing of oh she loves her dad she wants to see yep. her dad again yep like, exactly what what would she do to be with her or the her the, the the man that she loves you know right right like exactly that, that, that's that's perfect yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it's it is so there's so many things which, with that now but, <laughs> but now that Anna Sweet is alive just just one little thing. okay yeah yeah I want there to be a point. Where then Anasui has to meet Jotaro. Right? Yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> he has to meet the dad and be like, hey, I, I like your daughter, but Jotaro, you know. He's like, who the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just, Who's this I, Diavolo looking motherfucker? Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> right. I, um, I want that to happen at some yeah, point, yeah. but continue. I, I wanted to say that because <laughs> FF is gone mm -hmm. in their soul, right. specifically, there's a possibility, though, that FF could still come back, right. but it wouldn't be our FF. Mm -hmm. Possibly, possibly. Yep. yep. Which means that there's a chance for a for a for a do over, if you will, of again an un Ew. unseeming bond of a bunch of little microorganisms all coming together mm -hmm. that. You know, yep. think maybe, maybe they have a stand, a so they sort of stick around and do stuff. But then all of a sudden, you know, yeah. it becomes more than that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And who's to say that you know, this isn't something where we'll end up having some kind of, some kind of way in which the 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 souls of those in heaven mm -hmm. could even get maybe brought back. Like there's there's a lot of ways in which this, I mean, this, this part is very much it, setting up a a very pseudo spiritual kind of conclusion well because the bad guy just won big time big he time. got exactly what he wanted and which also involved killed some one of the main creepy cast. Re ritual shit yep. killed one of the main cast well, potentially just potentially just made himself not even touchable by the protagonist depending mm -hmm. on what he actually did here right yeah. so th I, th there's so some shit i i have a very kind of Odd question, but specific question. Yeah. Was there ever a stand in JoJo's that you can okay. recall so okay. far? Let's, let's mind palace this. With the name knocking on Heaven's Door. Because he Heaven's Door was um, Rohan's, right? Oh, yeah, no, that's, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, okay, okay. Yeah. Because, like, that's that's one of those ones where I'm like, okay, wait, all this talk of heaven and stuff, wait, you know, what are what are the potential ways in which Iraqi could pull up, like, a like a like an apropos, you know, music reference or whatever for the stuff that's happening in the story, you know? Now I'm actually curious. I, I don't really remember if that was. I think that's right, I'm but I'm pretty I'm not sure, sure. I'm pretty sure it was Rohan's. Mm -hmm. um, let me, let me, let me, let me check this real quick. Rohan stand, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. But, like, so, 
If Heaven's Door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. yes. Cool. Mm-hmm. cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. But so if Pucci has actually succeeded in like going to heaven or whatever, are we going to have like like what well, are we going to have? At the least, he's been eaten by the baby. Right, and it almost looked like the baby disappeared as well. Not sure. About I don't that. think the baby disappeared. The thing that I'm the thing that I'm most curious about here is uh-huh. that there's a possibility that he needed to be eaten by the baby in order for the baby to become what it needs to become. Okay. And it might not be that he's in heaven or attained heaven or mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it, and it's that that this is the next stage for the baby. The baby needed to be something that was prepared and ready for a fusion of the bone with uh, mm-hmm. Pucci. Right, because so this... in that respect, Pucci and Dio are already together again. Uh huh. And it's the it's the question of okay, but how does the baby's third party factor into this? Right. And the, I the, like the whole baby thing screams to me Voldemort baby, and that this is going to be the way that like Dio gets brought back, and then that's why like part yeah, seven is such but a I, but crazy I feel like, thing or something. But I feel like with this with this episode, they actually kind of more focus on the way in the which the the baby is a key. If you right. will. The baby is not necessarily Dio. The baby mm-hmm. is a ritual device that 36 crazed murderers were subsumed into in order to become. Yeah. That stuff doesn't seem like like that. But they don't have the bone. Right. The that's bone. I, the bone is uh-huh. like like well, Pucci yeah. had the Pucci bone. Pucci had the bone. And that well, and that was one of the other things that I thought was kind of odd. I thought that the baby had like the baby came from the bone, and that already not. happened. But I guess Pucci kept it in his hand, which, okay, as a way to keep something safe, awesome. Go for it. You know, like, mm-hmm. that's a that's a great move, right? But I thought the baby already had I it. I think we just assumed. I think we yeah. just assumed. Because I don't think that... I don't think that the baby having a stand that is so... Like, if they wanted to make a point that the baby is Dio, that mm-hmm. the stand would have been just... Zawado, though, right, know? right, like, exactly. It, it was... Although, wait, no. Hmm. I was going to say maybe maybe Pucci found out a way to, like, get Dio's stand disc from him before he died or something, but I don't, I don't think so. And then it's like, no, no, he no, needs to make we, another Dio we, we know so for a, can accept yeah, we know for a fact. We know for a fact that didn't happen because of part three. Right. They're not going to retcon exactly. part three. Yes. What they're the, basically mm-hmm. saying is that Dio and Pucci had a very intimate relationship during the mm-hmm. pre-part three and, story. And I gotta say, I really like the fact that if you're having this person have been connected to Dio mm-hmm. and Pucci has such a ridiculously busted stand because, you know, Araki's keeping coming up with like, all right, what are some crazy stands that'll be so hard to beat and things like that. Yeah. If you have them retroactively be a part of Dio's past, of course Dio with how suspicious he is and everything would be like, are you gonna try and pull some shit with me? Mm-hmm. Because if this stand was able to beat Star Platinum, right? Mm-hmm. Could have potentially beaten Zawaro, though, and that would be something that Dio would very much be like aware of. Like it would be in his head, just yeah, spinning he, around he, in there. He he set a trap for Jotaro, though. Like Jotaro, that's Jotaro that's did yes. not get uh, like mm-hmm. any. Yep. Like this is the thing: a rat stand beat Star Platinum. Any stand, <laughs> any yeah. stand that gets the jump or has the right, right environmental circumstances can beat a really busted stand. A rocky An ambulance <laughs> beat Kira. <Yeah>. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> Lyra had been beaten. The ambulance was just the. The ambulance uh, did get the. It, it brought get, justice. You know? The ambulance got the gold. It got the final hit mark. The the the, the last. It got hit. all the XP. It got all yeah. the XP. Well, yeah, yeah. And and to be fair, big difference of beating Star Platinum with half a second or a second of time stoppage, rather than like beating with a surprise attack versus beating Zawarodo with like nine seconds of time stoppage. Like that's well, that was yeah. the other thing. He was not thinking about it as a fight he's like we're pretty vulnerable right you what could you... just wait until daytime uh-huh and when you, i'm asleep you and... would you would be able to stop right. me so why haven't you yet and it's mm-hmm. the well i love you like a man loves their god and it's like oh okay. so this is not just a you know very intimate relationship this is a the worship dynamic you I mean, are dio to him let's be know? real let's be real in order for dio to be in any kind of 
intimate relationship with anybody. There needs to be some worshipping involved. That or uh, flesh bud mind control, you know, because or, or vampire like, you know, stuff, because that seemed to be what it was with I the guess, with all, like when he did have there were a like bunch the 12 of ladies, you know? Yeah. yeah, exactly. I don't like, think they were flesh budded. No, 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 but I think it was that they were they were vampire charmed, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. That's not flesh bud. Though. No, no, that's right. But yeah. <laughs> but point is, I think Dio would need to have a very concrete I am in the power dynamic situation. I don't you know, know. Like, no, yeah? no. I think this was actually pretty close to equal. Dio was letting his stand um uh, letting his disc basically come out as I mean, like a as a thing of like, hey, I Oh. Like okay. His, you let his disc come out yeah 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 um, and mm -hmm. no no but they take that for mm -hmm. what it is he was basically worried for a little bit of like does yes. this person genuinely actually care about me well i'm gonna give them basically the opportunity to fuck me over mm -hmm. to see if they do it and right. that's something i think that a lot of people do when they're insecure about mm -hmm. who they are and yes who they are in a relationship with someone and the one other thing that i think is important to bring up in that situation is that that's something that dio brought up when they already had an established dynamic mm -hmm. right so it it wasn't the it wasn't the how do i know you won't do this in the future it's why haven't you and right. you know how how and also how do i know you won't do this in the future yeah. it's a it's a cool kind of way to not really retcon anything with dio but basically add a bit of a reminder of who dio was in part 1 in part hmm. one, Dio was a very, very insecure, yes. um, narcissistic, but mm -hmm. very, very troubled little right. little man child. Basically, there, there was a person that he was before he rejected his humanity, Jojo. Uh, but that's the thing: did he truly, totally reject his humanity? So you're saying that the person that worships him as a god is the one who ends up helping him remember his humanity? In some ways, maybe. Maybe the idea of just having a relationship built on some sort of love hmm. actually gave him a, oh, huh. But, but then, for some reason, Pucci and him split. Uh, but what are you talking about, Kale? They weren't necessarily in a relationship. They could have just been roommates, you know? Like, like maybe maybe Dio was just shirtless because he's like, yes, I have killer abs and I am going to... On the to, bed, you know, just... And I'm going to stare at my abs together. in the mirror, yeah, you know, yeah. every day. <laughs> and they were roommates. Yeah. <laughs> um... I I very much love the development though that uh, Pucci and Dio, because uh, that that they were that they were so close because if what they're trying to set up here is that like we were saying earlier that Pucci just wants to go be with Dio he's not uh -huh. trying to like like become God or sure. anything like that like Bring that Dio totally back could, necessarily right but that totally could be a another thing but mm -hmm. the primary you know goal seems to be through this episode, that he just is elated at the idea of seeing Dio again. Right. Not as to, what are we going to do together, or what are we going to accomplish together? It's the, no, I just get to, I get to be with you. And yet it's not the, I will die as well so that I can be with you. It's the, well, there's a specific plan which might involve maybe Dio coming back here. Well, well, again, again, we don't know what Poochie yep. did here. Right, he got, got eaten mm -hmm. by a freaking stand baby. This Things episode are kind of, right now. Yeah, exactly. This episode kind of took the status quo and just sort of, boo, yeah, you know. Spun it. Yeah, you know? exactly. Just, 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 wee. <laughs> yeah, I, man. I just, the thing is, uh, when there was the whole idea of like, okay, mm -hmm. we're, we're having a conflict with, with Poochie, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, you know? Yeah, I know that this is not the end of the part, so there's that part of me that's like, okay, how is this gonna go? Is it gonna go right, badly? Right. I don't know, I don't know. The handcuff thing, wonderful. That Fucking was, that was, the, Jolene, Jolene, Jolene absolutely showed that she is a, a, a stand user among stand users, tough as nails, like, surprise attack happened, she still ends up kicking his ass, right? But then, Uses the disc. Yeah, the disc was a uses really good, disc. desperate move. That was. We've seen him use his ability to basically have, like, them stored. Which actually, now that I think about it, mm -hmm. he's essentially like, where did he have it stored? Was it in his pocket? Was it inside his body? Um, that's a good like question. He he he, he, he kind of panicked. But if it's potentially inside his stand, like... 
I feel like it might be something where it's the because that one in particular is so important, he never lets it off of his person. And also sure. because he was needing to like look over it a bunch, you know? Okay, so here here we go. At this rate I'm done for. He's getting the shit beat out of him. Right. The birthed creature will be destroyed. He pulls it from somewhere. Right. Yeah, it's just okay, he he has it, right? Yeah. Yep. He would never let it out of his sight. Right. So he had it on him. Mm-hmm. It's in the safest spot. <laughs> it's just in his pocket. Like that 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 might as well where it, where it is for story right. purposes. It doesn't uh-huh. matter. If anyone were to find it on him, uh, that would be the least of his worries at that point, you know. So, yeah. Oh, interesting. He says it's risky to let go of Jotaro's discs, but I've already memorized the contents of the notebook. Right. right. But then he says all that's left is the execution. Now, that could be the killing of something or it could be the going through the steps of the plan. Right, but that could be part of it. He got executed. He submitted himself, he gave himself up to the baby. And that's how he's going to go to heaven, And by basically. dying in that way... Huh. Like, there's some kind of specific... Well, this is the thing that, that blows me away. Yeah. This episode was phenomenal. Uh-huh. It's not the end of, like, the core, right? Like, no, now, it's not even... Like, so, now granted, Coors, anime adaptation, manga, all that stuff, it doesn't no, no, necessarily no, no. have to we've, line up exactly. We, we've still got it at least 12 to, like, maybe even 15 episodes because typical parts at this point right. in JoJo's are 39 episodes. Right, but we still have, what, two more episodes before this chunk of the anime is I don't done? know. I don't so, know. Uh, yeah, 24. Yeah, right. So, so in at the previous, like, you know, third part, you know, for this part, right, mm-hmm. we had the whole battle and weather report and all that stuff. Shit mm-hmm. was going crazy. Yeah. The fact that we actually had a point where the tension for a moment stopped, even mm-hmm. though the whole status quo has been upturned, mm-hmm. what are we going to be getting in the next two episodes mm-hmm. that's the... Resolution, set the, aftermath, setup, you know, yeah. all of that stuff after yeah. this, because holy shit. Yeah, I think it's going to be basically going like, like, we're we're going to, well, it's about time we leave the prison. <laughs> like, yeah, I think, right. I think, like, if, if it ends and it's the, we chase into heaven after yeah, yeah. Poochie. Yeah, I, you think, know, I like, think that's, I think that's <laughs> final five episodes, final three episodes, that's where we'll mm-hmm. be. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like that's 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 my that's my prediction. The, I, I feel like we are we are basically being given the Poochie one. We need to find a way to chase him, mm-hmm. but we need to then figure out then what the stand baby was. Right. Then follow its trail because uh-huh. it, it's it's it definitely didn't disappear. There, there's mm-hmm. there's no way it disappeared. It, it yeah. doesn't it doesn't make sense as of to what its ability is that it would disappear. If anything, it's probably going to grow the next time we see it. If if this ends up being something where, like, then the whole last, like, third of this part or something is like, oh, Dio's been reborn. And now and now you have to, like, See, fight Dio. I, you I know? personally, personally. Yeah. Okay. This is where my kooky kind of, when I when I huff the, like, the yeah, yeah. Iraqi, like, stuff, <laughs> right. you know? Like, I feel like my brain breaks the limits of what should be possible and just goes into what would be the dumbest but the coolest shit. Right. Possible, right? We had aliens so, in part four. So, right, 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 exactly. But you know what would be the coolest shit? Actually having them invade Soul Society, I mean, heaven. No, 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 no. There's no, no, no one, okay, personally, personally, uh-huh. sorry. Dio being awakened, reborn, whatever, don't really care. Oh, but, okay. But, you know what would be really fucking cool? Time travel. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta think simpler. Way more simple. If we had That's Dio come back, oh. that means at some point Jotaro and Dio <laughs> could see each other again, well, right? And that pose off and have a oh, you're approaching me again. Yeah, no, and no, we I know. get another meme. But but hear me out. It's not a physical meeting. It's a spiritual transcendental, like golden meeting. You know, it's it's in the heavens they meet, and it's the like hey. I was a piece of shit, Jotaro. Yeah, you were. You want to fight again? Fuck yeah. I mean, why, why stop it at Jotaro at that point? Jonathan and Joseph and you know but, but, and everybody else, they, they all... Is, but this is the thing that we've, we've been talking about. If you have Dio being brought into the story again, uh-huh. that's why Jotaro is in the story from the beginning. Thus, you can then have... Okay. okay. You can have then father in the Holy Father, Dio. Father uh-huh. in the... 
earthly father, right, right, Jotaro, right. fight while their children fight each okay. other. All See? Right. Hey, see? Yeah, no, I like it. I like and it. Even and if it's even and, if hey, it's not hey. them fighting directly, Jotaro and Dio, you can have Jotaro and Dio be like on the shoulders of their yeah, champions. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And well, they're and, posing <laughs> behind them. And yeah. Like that's and, that's the cool kind of dumb shit that we could get. You know. And amidst all of the craziness that happened, we need to remember that we did get the Jotaro disc back. It was a little we, cracked, we, but I think did. it's fine. We did. And if that's the case, mm -hmm. and especially since Poochie's gone, mm -hmm. if there's no immediate, like, pressing situation that keeps this from happening, Speedwagon Foundation. Get her the fuck out foundation. of there. Go. Get, get the disc get in Jotaro. Jotaro. We get Revive Jotaro him. back. And then Jotaro can tell Jolene what was in the notebook. Yep, yep, exactly. And then, yep. They, can, and then they can work together to potentially chase after him. And then, you know, it's like... <sighs> Yeah, I, my, it's wild, I am, man. I am, I am grieving because of FF, and at the same time, I'm starting to get really hyped yeah. for whatever kind of Cause, crazy shit. Cause Rocky this follows this is effectively the we've crested into the second half of the part. Yeah. Like we like, technically we're, we've been in the second no, half no, already, but no, like, this is the but this is like the we're in the end game. We are in the end game, uh -huh. not not the. Like, you know, final seven end game kind right, of thing, right. but like the mm -hmm. beginning of the end game. Yeah, this uh, Kira has taken on a new form and disappeared, and right. now we have to go find him and get him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. He could uh -huh. be, you know, living in some house somewhere, you know, creepily washing his not child, you know. But I want more Poochie perspective. I really liked having the Poochie perspective. Oh, yeah, the Poochie, per perspe po Poochie per perspective was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. I, I love that we're getting this and, and getting to see our antagonist struggle and everything, because mm -hmm. that, that is very, very fun and engaging. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Pucci, oh my God! Pucci is already up there as one of the one of the best um, mm -hmm. JoJo antagonists because of how human right. he is. He doesn't There's, have the same level of like memeable characteristics, I would Kira. say, as Kira. But but as far as like the entertainment that he provides, mm -hmm. not in like comedic shticks, you know, but like but for tension like and elevating whatnot, the tension. Yeah, fantastic. Oh yeah. A fantastic. A tier, S tier. Yeah. Fantastic yep. protagonist. But oh all right. My God. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see. See you all next time.